Hey everyone, it's your favorite Emily and Jane. I'm back with another video. Oh, looks like my camera's a little bunch. Sorry about that. Ooh, she is even more beautiful than I thought. <laughs> anyway, um, today I wanted to get into some, I want to play with some Ofra. So, you know, I want to get into a full face of Ofra. Um, this is just a couple of products that I have from them that I picked out that I want to use. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to use the On The Glow palette. Okay. Mine is very well loved, as we can see. That was the first Ofra product I ever got. Possibly use this Blushful palette. Okay. I wanted that Blushful palette for the longest time. Oh, man. <laughs> We're going to do Hot Mess Mama 04 palette. We're going to do the Midi Face It in Light. <laughs> Very loud there. Um, I have the um, Hot Mess Mama of Four Lip Set. We have found the Perfect Cover Foundation, Perfect Cover Concealer. We have the Eye Gel, Pro Pro gel Eye Primer. J Woo! Gel Eye Primer. <laughs> And the um, best lashes yet um, mascara. Okay, so that's what we're working with. It's not everything I need, but I think I'm missing primer and setting powder. Oh, and I also have the setting spray. Let's not forget that. The makeup fixer setting spray. Love it. All right, so let's get into it. So today I'm just going to um, apply my Holy Grail. Okay. Um, the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And I apply mine liberally. I, I like to make sure my pores are filled in. I almost said poise. I like to make sure my pores are nice and filled in. My skin is nice and blurred. And nice and ready for foundation and concealer another makeup you know so just put a little bit of this under there okay and you want your primer to be a part of your skin you know why do i always make these um like tutorial like you know what i mean i'm always narrating my moves <laughs> how is everyone doing better or good or um amazing i hope i hope everyone's weekend is as amazing as they are because you guys are truly amazing each and every one of you are a blessing all right so the first thing that i'm going to do is my eyes i like doing my eyes first because just in case of any fallout just in case um I have to fix it, that way I don't have to keep fixing my base makeup, okay? This is the gel eye primer. Okay. Um, to be honest with you, uh, I didn't even know Ofra had an eye primer until I saw it on Facebook. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, okay. Because I have, like, a weird obsession with, like, base makeup and eye primers. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I just put that on, tap it out with my ring finger into a nice, even layer. Okay? We'll let that set. Does anyone have anything fun planned for the weekend? I have a Sunday fun day with the goose. That's gonna be fun. Don't know what we're doing. I wanna like play outside on like a water table or something, you know? <laughs> Those things are fun. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna get my trusty Lorella fan and dry that down. I don't have too much experience with this primer, so I hope I didn't remove too much of it. I hope I have enough one. This take just, should take just a little bit. Oh, that's nice and set. Okay, very 
ないです I've been trying to make this video for a while, but I kept getting stuck watching people's lives, makeup lives, because I'm trying to support other MUAs in the uh, makeup, in the community, um, on Facebook and stuff like that. Like, so like I've been watching lives, I gave someone a tip, you know what I mean? Like, little stuff. Little stuff. So, I'm gonna take the palette <laughs> lost my head there for a minute my goodness oh look at that smile you are beautiful i love this palette this palette was um put together by hot mess mama of four i believe her real name is Rhonda, and um she has a youtube channel she's amazing um i'm sure everyone already probably knows who she is <laughs> But I love her to death. I love this palette. She put this together in collabs with Ofra. Good for you, girl. Good for you. It has blushes in it. It has a hot, like four highlighters. You can do your brows. You can bronze. You can do your eyeshadow. Like it's unlimited possibilities. She wanted you to get as much bang for your buck as possible. You know? So that's awesome. I'm gonna take, I don't have any Ofra brushes, but I'm going to take this Lorella fluffy brush and actually, no, I'm going to take this Sigma. This is the uh, E38 diffused crease brush and I'm going to dip into, I like this color. Let's see what this color does. So if you know who Hot Mess Mama 4 is, let me know in the comments below. Do you watch her? Do you know who she is? Are you going to go check her out now? She's so funny. She calls herself a Gemini uh, with ADHD. <laughs> She's so funny. I can relate. It, only I'm Aquarius. <laughs> Okay, it's not really showing up. It's not really giving us too much. It might be, um, I don't know if I put enough primer on or not. So, I'm not sure. Could be the color, could be, hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to use the same brush. I'm going to try this color. There we go. That's a little more like it. Looks like it's going to be a nice buildable shade. Okay. Yeah. I wanted that lighter kind of khaki kind of color, but... This is very pretty and will do. Oh, it'll do, I guess. <laughs> oh, you guys, I just made an Ace Beauty purchase. I'm so excited. So excited. Um, two palettes, four shock shadows, two lipsticks. Yeah, good haul, I'm telling you. That's going to be nice and fun, making content with that. I really do love their products. But, you're talking about Ofra. Ofra's that girl. Ofra is that main girl. The first thing I discovered by Ofra were, were their highlighters. Of course, my first one was, um, I... It was the, um, on the glow palette. So I got Blissful, Beverly Hills, and Rodeo Drive. Now I have Star Island and Lotus Blossom to, um, add to that. Okay, so we have a nice base going on in the background. It's a little bit darker off camera than it is on camera. Just letting you know that. Um, next I want to take... 
let's take this dark no let's go with this shade right here no <laughs> we're gonna go with this one sorry <laughs> Let me give this some depth and dimension. Okay, I'm going to take the um, Sigma E38. I'm not going to add anything to it. I'm just going to go back over where that first color is still showing okay make sure that it stays prominent in the look or you know noticeable see there i go I'm making a tutorial again <laughs> well you know what this is a hybrid okay it's a tutorial slash dude don't ever know what the hell she's doing so <laughs> Sometimes I don't feel like I know which way's up and which way's down anymore, you know? Okay. And E38, don't add anything. Yeah, I have been stepping out on faith and trying new things. I'm not going to let fear hold me down, you know? That fear of success and the fear of failure will keep you stuck on stupid. You know what I mean? Don't get stuck on stupid. I got stuck on stupid a lot. <laughs> not fun. Um, This color right here. But I just know... And this is a Sigma E54 medium sweeper. I'm going to put that on the edge of my lid. Okay. Now I'm going to take what's on the tip of the brush and kind of put it in my crease. Just a tip. That's a tip barrel. You know I love you. <laughs> <Woo -woo. laughs> oh, I swear that you're gonna never get old. <laughs> love it. All right. Now we're starting to come together with some. Always gotta trust the process, you know? Trust that process. Okay, and then I'm going to take, looks like we have one shimmer shade in here, so we're going to use it. This color right here, I'm going to use my finger. Oh, that is like velvet. That's very pretty. Put in front. And blend it right on in. They're just about the same color. Just about. I think the shimmer's a little bit lighter. You see the fallout from my finger on the, the shimmer shade? That's why I do my eyes first. And this, so I don't have to keep uh, 
fixing my concealer and everything. Okay, then I'm gonna take my pinky and I'm gonna dip into the lightest shade of the highlighter. Okay. Got some of that right there. We're gonna put that right in the front there. Okay. I'm gonna put it over the shimmer. I'll kind of make that shimmer stand out, you know? Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. See, highlighter, you know, blush can <laughs> give you eyeshadow too, you know? Endless possibilities with makeup. Sorry, I can't do that here. You know, just because it's labeled something doesn't mean it can't go somewhere else. There are no rules to makeup, just theory. Learned that from a great MUA. Hey, and I'm glad it doesn't have any rules. I don't like rules. <laughs> Who does, right? <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding about that. Don't come for me, please. I'm a very like rule following person. <laughs> all right i'm gonna take the edge or my finger wrapped in the um makeup eraser and i'm gonna pull this straight okay i'm gonna do the same thing to the other side and then i'm gonna i'm not gonna do underneath my eyes yet i'm gonna do my base first okay so we already put on our milk hydro grip the next thing up would be um, our foundation. I have the Absolute Cover Foundation. Okay, mine's in shade number two. Oh crap, I forgot to open my sponges first. Oh no. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Look at this cute little LaRousse heart. It's sponges. I hate to do this, but I want to use them. Um, they're LaRousse and they're, it's $45 for these two sponges. And um, I, I got them in my Ipsy bag. So I'm very grateful for that. <laughs> I definitely um, couldn't pay $45 for two sponges. No. <laughs> so we're already primed. Okay. I'm gonna start Grabbing a little bit of that foundation at a time. You don't want to go overboard. You want to build, you know? Uh, let me see. I guess, like, you know, a little bit is better than too much. Or not enough is better than too much. Too much is better than not enough. I don't know. Anyway, we don't want to put too much on. So just grab a little bit at a time. <laughs> Um, I'm curious to see if this will cover my, um, acne marks, um, and dark spots, so, without me spot concealing. We will see. The other foundation that I tried to see if it would cover them, covered them right away. Look at this covering them. Look at that. That looks pretty good. That's not bad. Could be better, but it's a foundation, not a uh, concealer. So. <laughs> Let's see. It says full coverage foundation made with silk peptides. Fancy schmancy. Now, I'm going to pair this um, foundation with the perfect cover concealer i will be honest with you it's from i've used it twice it's not my favorite concealer um my eyes are i have very creasy under eyes and most or most concealers crease it creased a lot but it could have been me using too much uh, setting powder it could have been 
you know, like op operator error <laughs> could have been. So I always get things two, three, four chances. You know what I mean? Because sometimes products have to grow on you. So. But my new skincare is really working magic, magic on my face. My like, these lines right here were so deep before, so deep. It's working great. My creases are going away a little bit. <clears throat> Let me see, are we dry? Yeah, we're good. Nice and moisturized. All right, so the Perfect Cover Concealer. I got mine in the shade Light Sand. I am going to, let's do, brightening. So when you brighten your under eye, you can do it like you want to do well, I read that you want to do a an upside down triangle underneath your eye now this isn't just for concealing under the eye this is for brightening the face as well that's why we're using a triangle so I know that you're not supposed to use that much concealer but we're brightening and concealing so we need both or we need yeah, triangles. Okay. Right. Cute. Well, let that sit for a second. And I'm going to blend, probably, will I blend it out with a beauty blender? Yeah, probably, because we're going all over. If I was going just under my eye, I would use my finger. Okay. So I'm going to take the other side of the beauty blender, not the side that has foundation on it. I want the other side. Um, actually, is this to go? Yeah, I have a little, um, a little beauty blender we can use. Look how it's like flat, fits right under the eye. I just feel like it kind of like, I don't know, disappears almost, you know? I feel like I would need a couple coats of it and <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to do that with concealer. But, oh, well, you can build up concealer, yeah. You don't want to like go overboard, but yeah, you can build up concealer. What am I thinking? I'm just like having the most massive brain part today, I guess. So, hmm, that actually looks pretty good. I want a little bit more coverage. Whoa, that is the eye primer. Wow, I almost put eye primer underneath my, ooh, as concealer. Okay. Told you I had that brain fart going on today. So now I'm just going to put it right underneath my eye. <clears throat> I have dark circles, so I don't want them to be apparent at all. You know what I mean? I don't like for them to be covered. And I like a bright under eye. Whew. Okay. And I always blend upward to give the illusion of a lifted eye. Okay, I'm going to blend that line away. See that? Pretty. That's a pretty concealer, okay? So I'm going to use... Wow, wouldn't be a video with Jade if I didn't drop shit. <laughs> Gotta love it. I'm going to use Hourglass. Um, this is Hourglass Veil. This is their translucent setting powder. Okay, I'm going to give this a try with it supposed to be a very lightweight powder very finely milled I know it's very expensive 
I got this with my um, points, Sakura points. All right, where is my poofy thing? Oh no, the triangle. Even better. I love this thing. I got them from Sheen. It was like a dollar fifty for like five of them, and they. I mean, I have never had something put on my powder so amazingly. Now, don't put a lot of powder under your eyes because that can cause creasing. Um, not enough powder can cause creasing. So what I do is I have the powder in the middle of the lid, okay? Or in the lid here, okay? I dip it in and then I take the side and I almost like completely take all of it off. Like I take all the excess off and then, yeah. Just make sure you go around and up on the side to give that lifted eye look okay now that looks really nice so that that powder really good looks good with that concealer so i'm happy with that okay hands. all right so i'm gonna give that concealer a minute to sit um while i give that a minute to sit i'm gonna go ahead and bronze now, I have the Ofra Midi Palette in Face It, Shade Light. Okay. And mine is very well loved. I use it every single day. It is one of my favorite bronzers. It is pigmented, it is buildable, it is buttery, it is satiny smooth, like, <laughs> it's so great. It's blendable as anything. I like this one. This is in shade Key West. Now, they also have two other um, bronzers, which I'm going to add one of them, I think. I might not. I don't want to turn into like Island Jade where it looks like I'm on vacation. I got so much bronzer on. <laughs> Everybody knows that the sun ain't out right now. Ain't nobody laying outside tanning. It's not around here, you're not. <laughs> Any time of year. <laughs> See how the brightness is still there? Just kind of take your... um bronzer brush on the edge of the brightness where the brightness meets the um bronzer and go over it do not take away your brightness we worked for that brightness and if you guys can hear that snoring that is my boyfriend sleeping he's um he works overnights so yeah hey that's that's small world right take it or leave it <laughs> I don't want to, like, say it that way. I hate to say it that way, but, like, I don't know. He works overnights. He's tired. <laughs> but, anyway, um, this, like, this other bronzer is so pretty. I love it. But I never wear it anymore. It's so dark. That is the Egyptian clay bronzer. I'm just going to kind of, I don't know, just kind of add a little bit in here see that how it adds that little bit of like see that <clears throat> and if you feel like you are too dark take your beauty blender that you put your foundation on with and go over where do you think it's too dark no need to fret hmm no use crying over too dark makeup <laughs> or no use crying over a makeup mistake you know you can fix your mistake you can start over. It's just me. <laughs> that looks really pretty. 
really pretty. You know, when I first started doing this, uh, you, before I started doing this and when I started first started doing this, my confidence and self-esteem was like this big. Now, you guys helped raise that with your wonderful um, support and um, just your all... Yeah. <laughs> I can't thank you guys enough for what you have done for me. You guys have seriously raised my self-esteem. You have helped me gain some self-confidence. Um, I accept myself for where I'm at in life and for who I am. No longer want to be someone else. I want to be me and only me. I love me. Finally. You know? So let's get some blush on these cheeks, huh? Or no, let's finish the look. I'm going to take the dark color right here and I'm going to put that underneath. I like doing that with a, um, like either like a lip pen, a lip brush or like a pointed, uh, an pencil brush, like a, um, a small one, skinny one, but the lip definer, uh, brush is perfect for this. Love that. Okay. I've been on this kick where I'm just putting it about halfway in my lash line. Really nice. There we go. Alright. Get some blush on these cheeks. Where's my blushful palette? Right here. What are you trying to hide? <laughs> So I think we're gonna use this color right here again. It's so beautiful. It's like a sheer purple on this. Let's try this brush. Actually, I have a blush brush. This thing. Let's try this. I don't know if it's for cream blushes or what. We're about to find out. <laughs> this is the uh, Cheeky Rose Beauty blush brush, okay? So I'm going to take this right here. Hmm. Right. And we're going to smile. And put it right on our cheekbone. Right up to the hairline. Okay. Make sure you blend that in with your hairline. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Usually I would take it like up here, but I'm trying to keep focus on the eyes. Okay. That is so cute. It almost looks like a highlighter, you know? I almost want to put some on my cupid's bow, you know? You ever put blush on your cupid's bow? <laughs> um, don't mind me, please. My lips are so dry today. Oh, they really are. It's like, I can't keep them moisturized. That's by Cab Cosmetics. That's their lip oil. Um, mascara. And then we'll have our lip done. We'll do our lips. Where's the, there it is. Might add an extra highlight. I'm not sure yet, but that is so cute. This is the Your Best Lashes Yet. Uh, this is the Volumizing Mascara, I believe, in black. If I do recall correctly, this is a pretty banging mascara. And I always like, oh, I wonder why I don't use it. Oh, well, because you have 50 open, that's why. <laughs> so what I've been doing is I've been taking, like, new makeup and uh, putting it away. 
you know, for like giveaways and, and just for me for later, you know, that way it doesn't get wasted. I don't need to open every single little thing right away. You know, I mean, I open most of the stuff to show it, but it's getting to the point where like, I can't open everything, you know, I'm a, have limited space right now. Share my beauty room with my boyfriend and it's our bedroom too. <laughs> but um, I'm sorry about that annoying noise. It sounds like a truck backing up or something. But anyway, um, we make do and we are blessed, but I just can't open everything is what I'm getting at. For the fifth time. <laughs> sorry. This is really nice mascara. This is one coat. And it got into the corner. The lashes. See what happens when I go fast? Slow it down, girl. Slow it down. But, I don't know. Like, I was, like, thinking earlier. I was looking at pictures and um, looking at my work. I was looking at other people's work and... I kind of realized that, like, I am pretty good at this. I'm really good at what I do. Everyday makeup looks, like, I mean, your girl kills it, right? Like, I have come such a, a long way. I mean, I really, I started with no knowledge. I didn't know any makeup brands except for Tarte. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I knew, like, CoverGirl and Maybelline and, and uh... You know, stuff like that. Elf. Um, NYX and stuff like that. But, like, I didn't know about the high-end, like, Huda, Anastasia, Ofra, um, Lawless and stuff like that. And Hourglass. Hourglass is really expensive. But anyway. <laughs> I'm just very grateful that, um, you know some of my biggest problem, like one of my biggest problems today is not having enough room for all the stuff I have. So if that's my biggest problem, then I'm doing pretty good. I mean, there are bigger problems, but those fish get fried a different way. Okay, I'm gonna go over the tops real quick. Hopefully they're not all the way dry. Don't forget to hit them tips for extra length. Okay, look at that. That is fucking bomb. This is all good mascara. Get some tips. Extra, extra length. And the base and midsection is where you get your volume. You know? I'm going to try to curl these, okay? Are you supposed to curl them before or after? I don't know. Where's my eyelash curler? It was out here for days, and then now it's going to play games with me and not show up. <laughs> Is it back? Did I put it back here? I don't think so. Like, really? I don't know. I had an eyelash curl. Here it is. I'm scared that my eyelashes are going to rip off. Please don't rip off lashes. I just want to curl you. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, they're stuck. Okay, I don't like that. I mean, I curled them, but it like took some of my mascara away and I'm good. Mine curl enough on their own. <laughs> All right, let's do brows and lips and we're done. Um, I don't have any over brow stuff, but I think I want to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel. I love this stuff too. But brands are really like bringing out some good stuff right now. Um, There were a lot of like... 
I don't know. It just felt like the same makeup was coming out over and over and over again by different, like a brand would put something out and then a brand, a different brand would put something out kind of similar to it. And, um, you know, but I don't know. I feel like with makeup quality over quantity, really, um, you know, when you have a brand, I don't have a brand. So I just, uh, I'm just talking my opinion. But I, I just feel like it should be quality over quantity um, because overstimulation is bad too, you know? Now, I love the brand Revolution, but they come out with a new collection like twice a week. I, I might not even be exaggerating. I'm not sure. Not twice a week, but you know, like they come out with a lot of collections and it's hard to keep up, you know? Look at those brows. Two second brows, right? The fronts are faded and everything. All right. Flips. Look, I have a little ponytail. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> hmm. I think I want to line my lips too. Sure, all the way dry. Okay. Should we line the lips? Yeah, we're gonna line them. We're gonna use Charlotte Tilbury. Mm, should we use Pillow Talk 2 or Pillow Talk 3? I think 3. We're gonna use 3. <laughs> Love this. Mm, this smells good too. Oh, forgot how good it smells. Mm, that looks so cute. Okay. <laughs> that looks really cute. So there is my full face, well, mostly full face of Oprah. I hope you enjoyed my video. I really enjoyed chatting with you guys. Um, I really enjoyed doing this. I really enjoyed being here with you, hanging out with you. Um, it is always a great time. And, uh, you know, when I miss days, I miss you guys. <laughs> but anyways, um, please like this video. It really helps me out. And if you could, give your girls a subscribe too. I'm on, I'm on a road to uh, 1K. So um, help your girl get there. Um, I'm excited. I'm nowhere near it. I don't even have a hundred yet, but whoa now. <laughs> but you got to start somewhere. So, um, as always, thank you so much for looking and watching. Thank you for being a part of. Much love. <laughs> Bye.